The last few examples have been easy because um, we've had these nice round numbers that correspond exactly to tabulated values. So just to make things a little bit more awkward, let's uh, consider a Let's uh, pick uh, a more awkward number for ourselves um, this time. The TV diagram is much the same as the last time because it's only a slight change in the value of the temperature. So that's our temperature. Again, we have a superheated vapor. Uh, temperature is greater than saturation temperature at 17.32 uh, megapascals. So we have superheated vapor. So we go to the superheated vapor table and this is what it looks like. Um, we're between 16 megapascals and 18 megapascals and we're between 400, no, we're between 440 and 480 degrees. Um, so we are between uh, this item on the table and this one, and this one, and this one. These are like four corners of a box and our actual state is somewhere in the middle of all those. Okay, So um, there are two ways we can do it. We could uh, do an interpolation on pressure uh, between these two and we'd get a, a, a value at our pressure, 17.32 megapascals, 440 Celsius. We could do the same thing on uh, temperature and then go between them. Sorry, we could do the same thing at 18 megapascals and then interpolate between the two temperatures. Or we could interpolate uh, first on temperature for the two uh, things. So we get two values at 453 and then we could do an interpolation uh, between them to get to our final state. So for no particular reason I'm going to do the uh, temperatures first. So our um, temperature, our fractional distance between the two temperatures in the table is 453.4 minus 440 divided by 480 minus 440 is uh, 0.335. So at uh, 16 megapascals and 453.4 Celsius, uh, our enthalpy is 3103.7 plus 0.335 times 3234.4 minus 3103.7. Same thing at 18 megapascals. Uh, this time we have three oh six two point eight plus point three three five times three. Oh, what is that? Three two oh three minus three oh six two point eight three one oh nine. That looks that's between three oh six two and three two oh three, yeah, that looks that looks uh, right. Three one oh nine point eight Units. Uh, 
finally we need to interpolate between our two pressures so at uh, 17.32 megapascals 453.4 we will have a H of we use the two values now that we that we've just found that value at 16 megapascals and that value at 18 megapascals 3147.5 plus uh, we already worked out the fraction here in the previous example we decided that 17.32 megapascals was 0.66 of the way from 16 to 18 megapascals uh, so it's 0 0.66 times 3109.8 minus 3147.5 and um, I'll do this interpolation by a slightly quicker um, method this time and you can use this method if you're comfortable with it you should be able to prove to yourself that it gives the same results as the usual method of used which is what's written on the on the page there um, and if you're comfortable with it you can use it and it saves you maybe a tiny bit of calculation um, if not stick with stick with the stick with the other method 3122.6 3122.6 which uh, that's kilojoules per kilogram and that is our answer.